A capital murder case ends in a plea deal for a 22 year old defendant. The victim's common law wife taking the stand today, giving some emotional testimony about the hardships that her husband endured after being shot back in 2019. Those injuries eventually leading to his death. Erica Hernandez was at the sentencing hearing. Takes us inside the courtroom. I just heard him on the other side say dad has been shot <laughs> and he's in the hospital. Linda Lopez remembering the moment she got the call her common law husband, Jimenu Gamarachilagues convenience store was robbed and he had been shot. The shooting happening back in July 2019. Zion Talavera, who was 18 at the time and was out on bond on another charge, had gone on a string of aggravated robberies with another teen at four different stores. The last store they robbed, Talavera shot Gamarachilage twice. Literally nothing functioned. He was in the hospital for 504 days. Lopez talked about how the couple lost everything during that time. Once we lost that business, we then lost our home. We lost everything and I was homeless and living out of my car for 10 months. Gamara Chilage died from his injuries at home 12 hours after he had just left the hospital. Nothing can bring my love back. Nothing will fix this. A plea deal was agreed upon in this case and Talavera pled no contest to the lesser charge of murder. And despite asking for leniency in a letter to the court, 186 District Court Judge Jefferson Moore sentenced Talavera the max per the plea deal of 50 years in prison. Talavera was also sentenced 20 years on that aggravated robbery charge that will run concurrently. He will also have to pay more than $2 million in restitution. At the Kathina Reeves Justice Center, Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.